Now that you're becoming financially independent, we will need to create a simple system for managing and paying your monthly bills. As much as you want to, this is not an option. How you manage your bills and if you pay them on time is very important because it affects your credit score. Your credit score is like your reputation with the banks. If you regularly pay your bills late, you will end up with a bad reputation. I know in the movies it seems cool to have a bad reputation, but a bad financial reputation will give you a bad credit score and that will affect your future. In the future, if you decide to go to the bank and ask for a mortgage to buy a house, or if you need a bank loan, or if you apply for a credit card, you could be denied because of your bad credit. To set up your bill payment system, you will need to decide three things. First, will you receive your bills in the mail or electronically? Two, will you track your bill payments in a notebook or electronically on a spreadsheet? And three, will you pay your bills online or with telephone banking? Let's look at each of your options. Will you receive your bills in the mail or electronically? If you choose to receive your bills and statements by mail, check to make sure there's no additional fees. Some banks now charge a fee for mailing out monthly statements. If you choose electronic, use only your personal email account to receive your e-bills. Don't use your work email and avoid using your school email address. Your employer and your school could have access to these accounts. If you get a lot of emails in your inbox and it's very full, consider creating a separate email address. Choose a professional sounding email address and use that email account for business and banking purposes. As you start receiving your monthly bills, do they end up being due around the same time? Here is a pro tip. You can call your bill companies and ask them to change the due date of your bills. For example, you can ask to have half of your bills due around the first of each month and the other half due around the 15th of each month. It's nice to get in the habit of paying your bills two days before they are due. To help you remember, set a calendar reminder on your phone. The second question is, will you track your bill payments in a notebook or electronically? You'll need a place to record each month's bill payments. I recommend starting out with a notebook, but you can also use a spreadsheet as well. Business and stationery stores sell general ledger books that are great for this. Find a book that has six columns. Let's take a look at an example. A good template to use will have the following columns. The date the bill was paid, the name of the bill, the amount to be paid, the bill payment transaction confirmation number, the date the bill is due, and a column for a check mark once the bill is paid. If all of your bills are mailed to you, you can use the notebook and put the paper bills in the notebook as you receive them. Here is a pro tip. Use your notebook to also record each paycheck that you receive. If your pay is direct deposited into your account, get in the habit of double checking the amount that was deposited and make sure it matches what it says on your pay stub. The last question is, will you pay your bills online or with telephone banking? If you're paying your bills online, only log into your bank account on your home network. Never pay your bills or access your banking information over public Wi-Fi. It's not secure. For telephone banking, try to avoid using your cell phone. If you have access to a landline at home, use it to pay your bills. The landline is a secure connection. If there is anything else about money you'd like to learn, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing.